blockers, some fears of prospecting, right? Because you don't have a business if you don't prospect. Hello, right? So let's talk about it. So some people succeed while others don't. Why is that? Why do you think others succeed while others don't? Well, my phone is going off the hook. Okay, so um, I'm wondering, can you see me in my live? I'm getting a message saying I'm not. Um, it's saying starting soon. Am I not live? You guys? Hello, hello. I'm getting it. Okay, she's here. All right. Yay. We're on. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the thing is, is why do some people succeed why others don't? Well, we all want to travel the world. We all want to spend time with our loved ones. And hello, we all want to, you know, have the, the dreams and desires that we're building this business for, right? So why do most people, though, will find more excuses um, why not to do it? Why is that? Because they're afraid. This is what it comes down to. Because they're afraid of what their friends might think, their family might say about them, that paralyzes them not to go out and, and start working on their business, work in their business, get it out there, you know, talk to people. So that's right. You have to prospect on social media. <laughs> You have to prospect on social media. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So welcome. I'm excited that you're here. My name is Becky LaFave, better known as Becky in Charge, because I help you take charge of your business. So if you are a busy woman, network marketer, entrepreneur, and you are bringing your business online and you're like, girl, I need some help. I can't figure this thing out. Well, you're in the right place because I'm going to help you brand yourself so you can start slaying online sales and start building the life that you desire. So welcome, you're in the right place. So if you're jumping on, say hi. And if you're catching the replay, make sure to drop in and say replay. And if you're a newbie, drop in newbie because I love to always say hi to all the peeps. So inside this training today, we're going to dive deep. In prospecting and what does prospecting really mean okay so it's really about conquering your fears okay and leaving your excuses behind I know that's hard I know trust me I battled with it for a long time myself so you can do it just like everybody else there's so many successful people and that's the thing if there wasn't successful people out there right now you'd be like no nope, that doesn't work but it does because it's been proven, right? So what does prospecting really mean? It's a, it, prospecting is a product of making, it's a money-making activity, right? So you reach out to people, you have conversations, you open up your mouth and you start selling and it doesn't matter what it is. If it's makeup, if it's um, any kind of service, if it's um, products, I have been prospecting probably my whole life and I just didn't call it that, right? So um, being a hairstylist for 29 years, that is my brick and mortar business, um, I have been prospecting my whole life. You probably don't even realize it that you've been prospecting your whole life, but when now that you get into a business, um, it's like a whole new scary situation for you where you prospected your boyfriend, your husband, whatever, right? You, you just didn't call it that. So now when you hear it, it's like you freeze up. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to be scared to prospect people, really. Reach out, have more conversations. Um, you know, you're a network marketer now. You're an entrepreneur. You're a fashion conversation starter. That is what you do. You build relationships. You have conversations, right? So here's the thing I want you to know, and I'm going to give you a ninja hip, uh, tip right here. Don't waste time the whole entire time building just friendships. Now, yes, you want a friendship. You have to get 
to the point of what you got going on, right? You friend them up, you have conversations, but then you prospect them. And that's where most people will drop the ball. They friend them forever and then they're like at a halt and they're like, I don't know, it's kind of awkward now. Have you ever felt that way? Like you, you've, you've been talking to somebody and now you're like in this awkward position. Like, do I bring it up? I, I don't know how to bring it up, right? Because you wait too long. Drop below and let me know because girl, I was there too, okay? I was friend zone for a long time. So some people like to take the path of less resistance. You prefer not to do that. Okay, let's just turn. You need to be more direct, indirect. Okay, know what you're going for. So approaching and prospecting more um, in be more direct in what you're doing. People actually respect you a lot more. They really do. What they don't respect is somebody that coming in and then oh, you want to friend me for this. So there's right ways to do it, right? So people will take the least resistant because they're they're just they're too freaked out. They won't open up their mouth. They they're trying to think about just taking the easy road, finding more excuses, right? And that's not being effective um, in your business. That's not being effective at all, you guys. So I have my notes right here because if I don't have my notes, I'll go squirrel. So you want to take the path of least resistance. Um, you really, you really want to put this into action because here's the thing. You can read all the books. You can listen to all the podcasts. You can get coaching. You can be a mastermind. But if you don't open up your mouth and start having conversations that you're in a business and it might just be the thing that that other person needs, you have to lose the excuses. And that's what it go, comes down to. It's how bad do you want it, right? How bad do you want it? Um, I actually post this today and it says you get in life what you have the courage to ask for. And, you know, I have been teaching my kids this for a very long time because is it not the truth? If you don't ask, it's a for sure no. And if you do ask, it might be a yes, right? Going after something, that's how you have to look at it. It's a for sure no if I don't open up my mouth, right? Nobody knows. So you want to get past that fear. And really, if you really believe in what you're doing and what you're sharing, it will get, you will have less of it, okay? So you want to get past that. The truth of the matter is nothing happens in network marketing if you don't open up your mouth. <laughs> so you have to be strategic. OK, a little bit, you know, you can mention your products within your conversations. You have to think of ways how you can bring it up without sounding icky. Right. And, and you can do that. And here's the thing. Is there a right way or a wrong way? No, there really is no right way or wrong way. The right way is how you're going to bring it about. Right. What's comfortable for you? What is your personality? So I know there's a lot of scripts out there and, you know, our team has scripts. We all use scripts and then we change them into what sounds like us, which is most important, right? So I really have some rock stars on my team that, you know, are really good at um, attraction marketing. And then I have others that, you know, are friending up. Like we talked about yesterday on yesterday's episode, we talked about friending up 10 to 20 people a day, right? Getting new eyeballs. So prospecting is, is all the time in business. I don't care what kind of business you're in. Brick and mortar business, um, you know, you're an entrepreneur of your own business or you're a network marketer. You're constantly prospecting. I talked to a buddy of mine that's in insurance. Okay, talk about prospecting. Like you think 10 to 20 is a lot? They're prospecting eight or uh, 100 people a day. They're making phone calls, boom, ba boom, ba boom. So this should feel like a, a dream, right? This should feel really easy. Could you imagine doing 100 calls a day? I guess if you wanted it bad enough, you would. So anyway, 
you got to embrace the suck. Let's just talk about that. Okay. So I heard this a long time ago in my career and it don't matter what you're doing in life. It's anything, right? You start a new job. It really is this true. You're going to be bad before you're good and you're going to be good before you're freaking a rock star, right? It just falls in line. If you're waiting to be a rock star before you start, it's never going to happen. I used to think, oh, wait, I will be a rock star first before I start. Like, did you ever think about that? I'm like, Becky, that's crazy, right? You just got to get started. And that's the piece that people miss. Well, I got to have all my ducks in order. I got to have this. Now, I'm not saying don't have some things in order, of course. But if you don't do anything, your business will never grow. And God knows we don't want that, okay? So it's time to get uncomfortable. It's time to reach out, have the conversations. You're never going to accomplish your goal if you don't do that one thing is go the most people that have more conversations are the winners, right? I'm sure you've heard this. The more conversations you have, the chances of you going to win, right? Um, so if you're all about impacting people's lives today, more than ever is the time, right? Is the time you've got your neighbors, you've got, you know, your friends. How many people do you know right now that are out of work that are like, I could really use an extra income or they now realized how important it is more than ever to have more streams of income coming in than one, one or two, right? Maybe they have two in their family. You know, me and Robert have five sources of income coming in right now and I'm upping it right I'm we're upping up that Annie so how many resources do you have if you don't have more than two I'm telling you you need to get more right we need we all need to get more we never want to be put in this position again so I really want you to think about that if this is it, let's say you're not in a network marketing business and you've been watching me and you're like Maybe I need to, you know, maybe I need to think about this. Yes, yes, you do. Okay. So right now you have people on your list, strike up that conversation, let them know what's going on. You have whatever it takes right now to go do that. So don't be scared. You know, you could just think about why you said yes to your business and you're holding back from somebody else. You know how many people I talk to that have never even heard of this? I mean, I was like, what? I thought, you're kidding me. So there's so many more other people out there that are dying. And it, it successful people, you guys, I'm a very successful hairstylist. I still own and operate out of my business three days a week. I own my own branding company now. And I'm a network marketer. So the most successful people, what are they like? They like more, right? Go find the people that want more in their life. Those are the people that you want in your business. Those are the people that will say yes, but you right now are too scared to open up the conversation. And I'm telling you, don't. Most effectively, you're going to conquer your fear today and get prospecting on social media. Go after somebody that is on your chicken list and open up your mouth and see how the world shows up for you today. All right. As always, thank you so much. If you found value today, if you did, give me some love below. I want to hear from you. And if you feel like your team or somebody you know, like, girl, you need this message. My girl Becky is hooking us up today. Be ready to hit that button and share this out to them. And listen, if you're feeling overwhelmed, okay, overwhelmed in you just are like, I'm scatterbrained everywhere. Girl, I get you. Why do, I, why do you think I always have my notes when I come? Why do you think I do all the things? Because I needed a map. So I created a map to help other entrepreneurs, network marketers like yourself get more organized and have your massive action plan. That's what the map is for. So if you want that map, drop it below. 
Give me the map, right? All right, as always, I want to thank you so much for showing up. And until tomorrow, I will see you right here, bright at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks so much.